I'm here to give you five pros and five cons of living in San Antonio. When my wife and I moved here almost seven years ago, we instantly kind of fell in love with the vibe and the people and everything going on in the city. So we love it, but there are pros and cons of living here. And we also took to our Facebook page to find out what other people think are the pros and cons of living here. And after a hundred and some odd amount of comments, we have some answers for you. I'm Tim Macy and I love San Antonio. So on my channel, you're gonna find interesting facts about San Antonio, places to eat in San Antonio, and some tips to help you own a home here in the city. So if you like that stuff, please do me a favor, subscribe, and check out all our videos. So I'm gonna start off with my first and favorite pro of living in San Antonio, and that is the people. We have a diverse set of people with a lot of culture, a lot of people from different areas. Because we have so many military bases, a lot of people like myself uh, come from somewhere else, landed here in San Antonio, and because how awesome of a city it is, we decided to stay. And so that's one of the things that we really love about San Antonio, is just the people, how nice they are, and the just variety and diversity of people. All right, my number one con that I've kept hearing that doesn't affect me too much, um, but it is cedar allergies. Cedar allergies are definitely a thing here in South Texas. We have these beautiful cedar trees, but when it gets dry and gets hot, uh, they emit their, their cedar allergy stuff and uh, it gets bad for people um, with that react poorly to the cedar allergies. So cedar allergies are a very big con for San Antonio. My number two pro is the food. I love the food here. Obviously, we have great Mexican food. We have great Tex-Mex. We are the undisputed champion of breakfast tacos. That's one thing we found out in our Facebook comments, that there really is no contest. San Antonio has the best breakfast tacos. Now, we're also known for very good barbecue. But beyond those standard things you would know San Antonio for, San Antonio also has a booming foodie scene with food trucks. You've got all these trendy, cool restaurants that are popping up uh, downtown near the Pearl. And comparatively, I think they're actually pretty affordable too. So having an up and coming, booming, affordable food scene is one of my favorite things about living in this city. My number two con, um, which isn't a con to me, but I know it is probably a con for other people, is our military aircraft that are constantly flying overhead. So we have multiple military bases around San Antonio, which drives a lot of the economy, drives a lot of the diversity. It's like what we were talking about before. Um, but it also leads to a lot of large cargo planes flying overhead and uh, you know the fighter jets flying by. Um, and so if that's a bothersome thing for you, you know, that could be considered a con. We have Lackland Air Force Base is on the west side of town, and there are big C-5 cargo planes flying in there. And then there's also some pilot training that happens on the northeast side out at Randolph Air Force Base. And there's, you know, a very good amount of traffic and planes flying around there. So personally, I love looking up and seeing that big old C-5 flying around. Um, but for some people, that's a con. My number three pro is the economy. It's just a lot of opportunity for a young couple starting over. And you know, there are a lot of drivers in that. Obviously there's the, the military with all the different bases that we have here, but we also have a lot of medical industry here and a lot of medical jobs. We have uh, USAA and other finance institutions that are here. And we also have a lot of IT and computer security jobs. Now, on top of all that, we have things like Geekdom in downtown, and we have uh, the Toyota manufacturing plant. We have Amazon opening up big things on the Northeast side. We have a lot of different things coming into San Antonio. And so there's just a lot of development, like the Pearl downtown, tons of things and tons of opportunity for people to take advantage of. The next con, is sales tax and property tax. So in Texas, we don't have income tax, which is awesome. And we have a lower cost of living for housing and some other things, but we do have higher property taxes and higher sales tax. And so you wanna look at those numbers. So, you know, if you're looking at the pricing of housing, you have to remember that, you know, in the city, we have 2.6 to 2.7% property tax. That's going to be a big part of your mortgage payment. Um, and then when you look at how much our sales tax is, 
right? That's gonna be a fairly large part of your purchases and, and you know what your spending is. So keep that in mind, we do have higher property tax and higher sales tax, but no income tax, so that's good. The fourth con is traffic. Now for me, coming from the Northeast and spending some time in California, the traffic doesn't seem bad to me, but we do have places where we do have some traffic that backs up regularly. You have the 35 corridor going from downtown out to 35 and 1604. Uh, that can back up fairly regularly um, throughout the week. And then we also have 281 North, which has been under construction forever. So we do have what some people would consider some traffic problems. My number four pro is gonna be HEB. And, and that may sound strange to have a grocery store be a pro for a city, uh, but man, I love HEB. And when I go other places, I'm kind of mad that they don't have them. You know, I don't realize how much I love HEB until we have to leave and go somewhere else and, and, and go to Connecticut and shop at, you know, Stop and Shop or whatever it's called. Like, I love HEB, San Antonio loves HEB. And if you move here, you will find out that HEB is one of the giant pros of living in San Antonio. The fifth con for San Antonio, for a lot of people, is the lack of major sports teams. So we have the Spurs, and the Spurs uh, are everything in San Antonio. Go Spurs, go. We love the Spurs. But when you look at the fact that we're the seventh largest city in the country, and the Spurs are our only uh, top level major uh, sports organization, that's not normal. We're actually the largest city in the country that doesn't have a NFL team. So we have the Cowboys, we have the um, the Houston team. <laughs> we have the Houston Texans. So San Antonio is one of the largest cities that only has one major sports team. My number five pro is the housing. Obviously I'm in real estate, so I love housing. Maybe I'm a little biased here, but the fact is we have such a cool diversity of neighborhoods here. You can buy a brand new house in a cool HOA community with water slides at the park and all the modern amenities and all that amazing stuff. And then you can also buy a home in a historic community with years and years of culture and history in it. Um, and just the diversity of neighborhoods and the diversity of prices, you know, where you can get an affordable house or you can get a beautiful house out in the hill country. Um, there's just so much opportunity in housing for no matter for whoever you are, right? So everybody, I think, can find something here that they love, which I think is super cool because you know we've sold houses to clients on the hillside with a pool with a view of downtown. Um, we've sold people, you know, old 120 year old houses that just have tons of historic charm. I mean, there's just so much different types of housing to pick from here in San Antonio, and I think that's a big pro because. If you're looking to make this your home, having a lot of different things to pick from, I think is important. Hey, if you like that video, please check out our other ones. We've got more top facts about San Antonio and more neighborhood profiles to check out so you can get to know San Antonio better.